For the Munich Emergency Services, I am your supervisor, and I will be accompanying you throughout Emergency 5. Hello and welcome to Emergency 5. This game is a little bit like an RTS stroke... Well, I suppose it is. It's just a real-time strategy game, but it's a little bit different. There are um, medical, emergency, uh, terrorists, uh, burglars, you name it. And then you have to select which units to send out. So it may be sending out the fire brigade, and then you need the cutting equipment or the hose pipes. You may need to send the police out with guard dogs. You may need to tape an area. You may, to, you know, and so forth and so forth. So I'm literally this is my first game, and I'm, I'm going to go through the tutorial and give you an idea of what the game's like. Graphics not too bad. Obviously, I've just run this just to see whether it runs okay. Um, not quite sure what the best settings are regarding anti-aliasing and things like that. It just looks like it's not quite up to the resolution or the sharpness that you'd expect at 2K. I'm running on a 1440p G-Sync monitor, baby. And um, yeah, I was hoping for a little bit more. So let's just jump in. I'm going to take this from the basics. This is the tutorial. So let's mission. jump in and get on emergency. Your objectives are shown in the task list. Pay attention to this list and you'll always know what to do. Okay, so I don't expect this to be too complicated. The Use the scroll wheel, the camera, mouse, zoom in and out. Zoom Got you. Rotate the camera, hold down the right mouse button. Left or right. right, okay. Simply hold down the right Seems mouse I can't actually move, move away, as in viewpoint is stuck on this. That may be just Good. for the tutorial, so this could be a little chance. To do Traffic's this, not too bad. To just look like it needs a bit of sharpness. Right, need a... Select the heavy rescue vehicle. Now bring the heavy rescue vehicle yep. into the mission area. First click on the right send click icon nope. and then it's right click in the highlighted area in the send. mission. That might be because it's just a tutorial. Right, so that's gonna bring out the fire brigade. Don't know what era that uh, fire engine is. And it's a German sausage game, innit? All these games are by the sausage munchers. The Bratwurst! The Germans. Yeah, look at that. Well the anti in a bit of jaggies on that, uh, on that pipe in there, scaffolding. Not too happy about that. Right, well done. Right, okay. To select the vehicle. Let's get them out. Now click on the flashing exit right, click where they're not coming out. I've got to click this. Again, might be just the yes, tutorial at this stage. So let's get these lads out. And get this fire put out. A firefighter needs to have a fire hose. Select one of the firefighters with the left mouse button. What's up? Now click on the flashing fire hose button in the selected firefighters action list. Aye, aye, now, sir. take a look at the burning pallet and at the objects near the blaze. All the objects you can cool or extinguish with your firefighter are highlighted. Right click on the burning pallet. The no firefighter problem. will automatically connect. Looks like he's actually putting on breathing equipment as well. Would have been nice if they'd actually got out of the vehicle, as you know, step out. It's a little bit lazy just to make them uh, fizzle in or fade in. Right, so he's putting that on there. Is he going to put that away? There we go. Not the best water effects, if I'm honest. It's like a light beam with a squirtage of steam. So that should put that out. Anything else we need to do? Okay, we need an additional firefighter. What's he going to be spraying then? He's going to be spraying the barrels. Right, okay. Okay. He should now be putting his. Is he going to put a fire breather on? Yep, there he goes. Rebreather. Look at it, it's pitching out the bottom. Thomas, I'm sorry, but you look like a flipping old biddy. What the hell have you been doing? Must be an hard life being a firefighter. He looks like a bloody cross dresser. Look at him. Right. That's putting the barrels out. Well, keeping them cool. Anything else we need to do? Nope. Just keep on squirting. I'm just going to have a look in these options in here because these graphics are looking a little bit... I've got everything on Ultra, by the way. Let's just have a look in here. Try it in here. Apply. <coughs> Yeah, it all seems to be. I'm just recording this little voice bit after. I did actually notice that it was on 1920 by 1080 even though I set the resolution on the main menu. So that might be a bug and why it looks a little bit low res. So in the next video, if I do one, 
I will actually put the uh, resolution up as you can see it's 1920, didn't even notice. So I will put that up on the next video and see if that makes a difference. Hopefully it will. <laughs> Excellent. You've put out the fire. Now get your firefighters back in the heavy Right, that's the fire put out. I presume I can just right mouse over these, yeah, put them back in. Much easier than doing it individually. Right, lads, get back in bam. Look at that's just a bit lazy, isn't it? I mean, uh, Star Perfect. Trek dissolving the way, in there. There's just been a traffic accident right, in the what's next? Area. What's next then? You better familiarize yourself with the overview map in the bottom left. Your heavy rescue vehicle and the scene of the accident are both shown on your map. If you click the accident marked on the map, the camera will snap to it. Try it out. Obviously, you can move the camera around the scene yourself. Simply move the cursor to the edge of the screen and the camera will shift in the corresponding direction. Holding down the shift key will make it scroll faster. Give it a try. Click the scene of the accident. It is marked on the map. Okay, the driver. Now you would think I could just click the fire truck, vehicle. click on the map, You'll and it would go there, but no, not in this yes. sausage munching okay. game. No. The bloody bratwurst munchers have coded it in, so I have to physically scroll over here to right this the fucking mong here. It's fucking the driven off the road into a lamppost. Fucking mong. Right. Let's get going, lads. Come on. Got this fucking pikey in here with no car insurance, no MOT, no tax, no no, fucking Starney. Come on, let's get this bastard out. Now let's get your firefighters out and give one of them the hydraulic No cups. problem. What's up? Yeah, let's put it on his fucking neck yes, and sir. squeeze it till he's dead. Okay, now you can free the fucking from the dead Starney. Right, click the right, come on lads, get over to the truck. Can let's do. put this bastard out. Yes? Again, what a pity that the equipment there just sort of dissolves in. It would be it'd be really, really uh, enjoyable if it was actually, you know, picking it up, dragging it across, making it a bit more realistic. I know it's an RTS and it's not realistic in that sense, but you know what I mean. Rather than just bringing them in, if they added all the extra little details. Right, so let's get this fucker out. Come on out, you come, son. You're all right. You might have got a broken back, but, you know, I'm not medically qualified. I'm just here to get you out of this vehicle as quickly as possible. Just leave you on the floor there while I go over here and just check the paintwork. Yep, yeah, the yeah you go. You got a nasty scratch here. Yeah, it's out. probably right off, mate. Bring the emergency doctor. Right, what's next? Emergency doctor. Right, get him out. Okay. Let's get Mr. Ahmed out. Right, he's on his way. We're gonna uh, put our foot on his windpipe. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. Right then, let's. Uh, Let's check the medical situation of this guy. I'm just going to stand here with the, the car door between my legs because it feels good. Uh, I turn me back on the fucker. I don't even want to look at him. Right, let's get out. Let's get this fucker sorted. Help Come on. In. Good. Now select the emergency doctor and then right-click the injured driver. The doctor will examine the patient, make a diagnosis, and treat him. I'm ready. No problem. Why am I running like I've shat my pants? Right. Let's have a look what we've got in this suitcase then. La -da -da. Magic white gloves. Just checking his pupils. Yeah, I think this one's a goner, mate. Yeah, DOA. Time of arrival. Or partially empty. They are not fit to be transported. Yeah. During right. treatment, their health bar Okay, so he's getting healed now. We've got to wait for that bar to go up, have we? Can the patient be taken away from the well, I just continue to stand there with the car door between my legs. I'm in a Tommy tank. So it looks like the casualty has got a fracture to the base of the skull. It tells us that down at the bottom, right? 99.5 fire. I don't know if that's a chance of Get fire or. And a team of paramedics. You know, I'm sure we will find out later into the tutorials. Right, you need an ambulance. 
Let's get the ambulance out. Why can't I move the fire crew back? They're not actually needed right now. Right, ambulance is down there. Can we zoom in? There we go. Right, so that's the emergency area in green, and I presume the yellow brackets is the way I'm facing. Right, let's get these guys out. It would be easier just to right click the ambulance and well come out. Maybe just because of the tutorial, it's not going to allow me to do that. The paramedics will then take the patient to the hospital in the ambulance. <laughs> That's brilliant, lads. Just put the stretcher on top of him. Yeah, genius. Well, they were trying to choke him out, weren't they? Right, get him back at ambulance. Let's get him off. Get him down to casualty, we all smackheads and druggies. Take, lad, take your time. Take your time, yeah. No emergency here. He's got a serious brain injury, bleeding on the brain, but we'll just take our time. That's it. Whoa, see what I mean? Wouldn't that have been brilliant if he an actually animated now that going in the back? The and the actual vehicle um, It'll have to be towed. pathing algorithms were a little bit smoother, a little bit more realistic. Seat. Like in. Um, I'm on it. Let me think. Uh, Company of Heroes 2. When you click the vehicles, they actually reverse and turn properly. It's a pity it's not quite like that. Right now, we need to tow away the wrecked vehicle. Right click on the wrecked vehicle. Right. So we've got these Gipo, Gipo Pikeys coming in now for scrappers. It's right off, mate, that. 20 notes. 20 bar. 20 bar for that. Come on. Come on, over you go. It's over here. It's over here. Once you have selected the tow truck, over here. right click on the crashed vehicle is enough to tow it away. Consider it done. animation. I can imagine that the game, once it starts to open up, there. I mean, the, those options on the left, there are a lot more options apparently, and there is a huge, huge modding community as well. What, see what I mean? That it didn't reverse, it would have been so much nicer. Yeah, there is a huge uh, modding community apparently with uh, new scenarios, terrorists, bombs, um, you name it, lots of new vehicles and things like that. So I might do some more on the actual single player, get used to playing this. Um, and as it starts to open up into a little bit more of a free mode, and um, and then have another look at uh, have another look at it I'm and see what's you know what in depth what's stuff up? we can get right in here, away. what sort of yes, different scenarios there are. <coughs> I know the actual main campaign. You can do this, which is the old one, right. uh, which up? is more suburbia, no and the other one actually starts off in the 1600s and works its way all up to modern day. So you'd be getting rid of the bodies from the plague and then they dug up by construction home. workers. And so forth and so forth, and there's riots and all sorts. So, I may look at that as well if people want to look at it. I do enjoy doing these games, but it's nice to get a little bit of feedback and thumbs up and something that's a little bit different from uh, the mill sim stuff that we usually do in the first person shooters. Um, lads, I've been playing a lot of farming simulator on a really in depth farm, what I call Pleasantville, one of the most in depth farms we've certainly played. We have to build your own factories and things like that. So, I may even put a couple of those videos up. Why not? I enjoy it. People like it. Then it's a Brucey bonus. Right, so we've got to get our asses down here now, and we've got to get hold of this perp. What he's done, I've no idea. What has he done? Does it tell me? Just an offender. Now, is he black? It's a bit racist, isn't it? Understood. Is he black? No, he's got a balaclava on. <laughs> The perpetrator has left <laughs> a Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. You're it, Tig. Ooh, you punch me. Ooh. Fucking get in there, kid. He's fucking hitting with your truncheon. That's it. Give him some pepper spray. Now beat the fucker down, curb stomp him. Now we can arrest the offender. He can no longer resist. Yes? Okay. Right away. That's it now, execute the fucker. Come on, Rodney King 2.0. What the fuck? Get in there, you fucker. 
And there we go, achievement unlocked, first step. So that's been the very, 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 very basic tutorial for this game. If you want to see some more, let me know, because in the next video I'm going to be looking at Coast. Coast Guard, another German simulation game. Is it any good? Well, let's just say that I dropped off a King Richard III in the sea, and that might give you a clue on how good it is, and I shall show you that video coming up next. Let me know what you think of this. Do you like it? Do you want to see some more? Vice versa. I don't give a damn anyway. I'll do whatever I want when I want. <laughs> Time for an emergency. I've got one in my pants. Bye-bye. <laughs>